guy here and this is the TLX service pack by 82 studio for farming simulator 22 it's for all platforms PC back and console I'm on PS5 for this uh, demonstration of uh, this pack it is 33.15 megabytes to download it's a pack of five items we have one over there <clears throat> um, so where do we find them first of all we're gonna find them in tools and miscellaneous now that's where we'll find four of them we have the uh wreck it bundle the service bed phoenix crane traverse and the flat bed those are the first four uh slots are 26 for the wreck it bundle uh sorry two slots for the bundle six slots four two and we have a weight that comes with this as well and here is the weight here so in an effort to do this in a logical and uh, hopefully understandable uh, system or uh, manner we are going to start with the wreck it <clears throat> now here it is there is a bit of an issue with it already as you can see here um, but we'll talk about that in a minute first of all let's take a look at that again where we're going to find that under tools and miscellaneous and here it is thirty two thousand one hundred and nineteen dollars a hundred thousand liters of fuel so yes it does have a fuel tank as well uh two slots so yes it is two slots um i pretty much checked that twice i'm pretty sure that's what it is so we have special editions as we have with um, a lot of a2 studio stuff standard black bell copperhead silver bullet standard so uh, that's a, just a visual thing lighting side markers or standard so you can add side markers decals uh, design one don't know what that changes actually uh, but anyways there's one design design two design three there we go <clears throat> and design three parentheses two and then standard so no machine left behind one 1982 wrecker right so emergency lights we have emergency light bar or nothing so far so far fairly simple details standard um <clears throat> so these are decals actually standard houston one semi note standard so we have basically two designs decorative elements uh let's see here what do we have here again i'm not sure Oh, so it changes the amount of light bars it looks like almost no it does not uh, I don't know what I don't think that's uh, yeah anyways colors we have colors let's talk about colors <clears throat> all the wonderful colors oops main color let's make it pink there we go that's the uh, stripe color it, no that's the design color main color you dingling white let's make it white and purple there we go so if we want to go into giants colors it's twelve hundred dollars and the design color giants palette of colors uh, co palette of colors yes twelve hundred dollars there as well so uh, decorative elements are going to cost you a thousand dollars i don't know what they are they're not appearing on this that i if anyone knows what those are i don't know right so <clears throat> here we have one excuse me um oh yes what do they what can you use them with well that's very specific as to what you can use them with they are compatible with the tlx phoenix version 1.2 mac superliner version 1.2 superliner x and the tlx 9000 series version 1.2 I have just one of those. I have the Mack Truck Superliner X. Now, if we go into that, this is very important because the service frame is what you need to pick, and that's very specific. Service frame or coffin sleeper, it's the service frame 
I would suggest I don't this these others might work because uh, as you can see the length of the but this is the truck <clears throat> if you go with this one uh, I don't think there is no there is no oh wait a minute rigid two rigid three possibly might work but um this uh test is using the service frame superliner x service frame configuration <clears throat> with the large engine and that is what is recommended one of them i don't have the other two downloaded but this is not about the truck this is about the package let's get into the truck <clears throat> So you back up to it and all right so it's oh wait a minute oh, oh there we go come on uh, it has uh, when I let go of it it's sunk into the ground so it seems to be I don't know if it's this spot let's move it around a little bit because this is uh, this is not um, and the truck seems quite sluggish when it's attached for some reason. And I have the big engine on here. Right, so let's... Come on, let's... There we go. It could have been the spot I was in. <clears throat> That's a bit odd. Right, okay. Back to what I was doing was you attach it like thus. And there we go. You see the the wheels line up. Everything lines up. Everything is nice. Now, if you have uh, seen my review on the um, the detachable towing unit unit, this is very similar to that in many respects. <clears throat> so L1 and let's make sure we have the attached item highlighted because L1 and X will unfold the unit there as we see it. Now, I do believe, uh, oh, oh the, there's, uh, yes, we'll talk about that later. <clears throat> Back to the vehicle. L1 and right stick up and down and left and right. Move that back. Um, tow unit, I guess you could say. R1 and right stick left and right. Don't do anything. Up and down. Right right and left is a truck. Up and down. R1 and up and down. You can uh, telescopically extend that back piece all the way out there. So, <clears throat> L1 and R1. L1 and R1, right stick up and down sets down these um, braces feet braces whatever you want uh, left and right are not are something to do with the truck again right okay so how does it work let's uh let's tuck that back in there and so any any vehicle you're going to move um he says you need to get into it uh, for whatever reason, I'm not sure, but um, don't try and tow something that you haven't got in yet. Now, it could be running, it could be not running. Uh, you can turn it off. Uh, I haven't really noticed a difference. <clears throat> the other piece of this puzzle is the front bumper, and we're going to look at the front bumper now in here. So the front weight... TLX HD front weight $650 you have a configuration of trailer or three-point link a three-point link of course will hook to anything that has a three-point link uh, for the purpose of this test we're gonna we're gonna use the trailer configuration work lights no or yes beacons yes you can have beacons on the corner protective plate is a decoration on the outside like so design one no yes or design one Bull bar, you can have a giant thing on the front. <clears throat> and you can also have a winch. The winch is only operable or maybe even only available if you have the Platinum Expansion DLC purchased, installed, and active on your map. 
then we have a main color. We're going to make it this uh, blue color and everything changes to blue as you can see here. Right. So what uh, the other nice thing about this it is I'm on console PS5. You can lift it by hand, which makes it very handy dandy and very easy peasy. <clears throat> now, this unit, as we will show, as you drive up to it, will attach directly to the front of this Mac truck. Now, it will also attach to the front of this truck as uh, I have one over there. I will, at least it, the, uh, the one that came with the uh, other mod that is almost exactly like this one or very similar did. So let's just check that out. Yes. <clears throat> so let's talk about the weight before we get into, but the weight is very necessary. Uh, in the operation of this mod R1 and right stick uh, no not yet L1 and right stick left and right you can adjust the positioning of this weight forward or back up or down <clears throat> what makes this weight so um, interesting is this excuse me if I uh, R1 and right stick up and down. Notice there's a little bar there on the just the corner and yes indeed. So let's just get down here. See this right there? That is how much weight it well, how much it weighs. So we we R1 and down and the weight goes down. So it's a fully adjustable weight. <clears throat> Right, so why is that significant? Well, we will show you in a moment. Well, let's um, let's detach this now and show you how to hook up a truck using this contraption. And there are a few steps that you must follow for this to work mostly. So we'll shut it down. Uh, of course, again, the... Um, the description on the mod hub is pretty extensive and there is a video made by David from 82 Studio explaining how this works as well. So, <clears throat> uh, you might want to watch that as well. Uh, let's see here. Let's make sure we have our um, back piece adjusted. Now we have to go to the end piece, right? So there's the back, this piece. And then there's this piece, this little end piece is the last piece up there top left, right? Okay, so let's back up and you want to get it right about there is my, uh, is my experience with, uh, well, with the short trucks, it's a little bit more tricky. You kind of want to get it as close to the front as you want. And now L1, um, nope. Now we got to go to the tool, it's uh, again the second, so the lifting arm and you want to get underneath it like this and just give it a little bit of a lift. <clears throat> now we go to the last one and there is R1 and tension belts, R1 and R3, there is a tension belt, that is how, the nose it, it, it gave a little jerk, now it's attached, it is now attached but it's not attached all that great as you can see why is that well let's uh let's lower that back down again undo that tension belt you see that tension belt on off that's how it attaches but there's something else going on here too and i'll show you what back up a little bit lift it up a little bit r1 an attached tension belt and now go back to the last piece the end piece l1 and circle l1 and circle on ps5 uh, is a, t a lift attachment and you can see now it's oh something has happened hasn't it um so let's go back here let's uh, kind of just readjust that a little bit settle it down a little bit and now as you can see it is really fully attached 
and away you go. And um, there's a little bit of a, yeah, it seems really sluggish. This I have this. This is the 1700 horsepower. It is like it's pulling a mountain or something like that when you turn. That's just not liking it. The other one worked way better with the just normal truck. I don't know what's wrong with this truck, so... I don't know if I got something's holding it down or something, whatever. But anyways, let's, uh, let's let go of that now. So again, L1 and circle. And then R1 and unfasten that tension belt. And then we go back to the uh, unit itself. We can just lower that. Oh, not not too low and pull ahead right so now it's yeah I don't know what's going on but let's just show you a little bit of what is kind of uh, what uh, what else that feature does the L1 and lower TLX wreck it notice right now it's pretty stiff it's in a square position it's not moving around L1 and circle now it's swiveling it's able to swivel so that what's that is what gives the ability when you turn your your vehicle isn't kind of like jerking and herking herking and jerking all over the place right so as for fuel so l1 and x oops no there l1 and x let's fold it up now this also has a fuel tank on it uh, this is an A2 Studio. We should be able to... F nope. Oh, there's a fuel tank. Alright, so, silly me, I nearly forgot. L1 and unf... not unfold, wheel lift. Um, where is it? Uh, open cabinets, yes, L1 and square. Open the cabinets. What does that do, you might ask? Well, my goodness. Um, that's how you fill the... F that's how you open up. The ability to fill the fuel tank. Yes, indeed, that's how you fill the fuel, or that's how you make it available to fill the fuel. L1 and square. Now we can close them. Um, so, do you have to have them open to refuel another vehicle no so if we hop over here and jump into here uh, we should be able to uh, maybe not it was doing it with the other one I know you can unload the fuel right okay so you have to have them open Yes, so you have to have them open in order to refuel another vehicle. There we go. We have refueled this truck. Yes. Uh, close them again. Can we? Uh, yes. E if they're closed, we can sell the diesel or refill Well, it gave me the... Oh, maybe you can't. I can't put it back in. All right. I thought you could. Well, now, isn't that something? Apologies for confusion, but here we go. Let's just sell it here. How fast does it unload? Not very fast, as you can see. 10,000 liters. Right. Okay. I think that covered everything. Now, there is one last thing. <clears throat> the winch on this bumper is a normal winch or a normal for winches, as far as winches go. 
Um, it's a very standard, uh, you must have the Platinum Expansion DLC purchased, installed, and active on your map for this winch to, uh, to work. And let's see, can we hook it up to this one? Oh no, it's the wrong kind of tree. Right, so it works just like all the other winches, It's uh, but if you do not have the Platinum Expansion DLC, this is only, uh, it's going to be a decoration only. So now we're going to move on to the uh, the next piece of equipment that comes with this pack. So the next two pieces of equipment we're going to be looking at is this. This is the crane section and we're going to find that not there. There we go. Tools and miscellaneous. There, uh, there it is. The TLX service bed, $32,119. And the Phoenix Crane Traverse. Let's look at this first. Special edition. Again, we have the standard black veil, copperhead, silver bullet, and standard lighting, standard or lower. Both. Details no or Houston semi mole, semi null. Decorative elements, design. That is this stuff. There we go. Main color. Again, any of those colors you wish, even that lovely blue color. Uh, we can make that, that's the color of the crane. No, that's not, uh, there we go. That was red before, let's make it blue. There we go. Design, design color is the stripe. And the last design color is what I was just fooling around with was the crane. Yes, I skipped ahead of myself. Uh, that's it for um, options. As you can see, mostly just color and accessories, uh, visual accessories. How does it work? Well, just like the other one, you back into it with uh, one of the trucks that are that are stated as compatible. There we go, and it's just like that. It hooks up. So now we have the rear section and the truck. Make sure you have the rear section. Um, activated when you're um, working with it. Uh, let's take a look at where we're going to find that um, crane traverse and there it is. It's actually free. We get to choose colors and um, it's very interesting what this is. Uh, we're going to show you right away what that is and what it uh, what it's used for. Of course, it's used in conjunction with this. L1 and um, square, again, opens cabin the cabinets and that allows you to fill this with 25,000 liters of fuel. With the cabinets open, you can then get rid of the fuel here or perhaps by chance, can we refill this tank? I'm wondering, no, it's not going to let us refill the tank. That's okay. It does seem very sluggish with this, uh, with this piece of equipment on there. Uh, am unloading the fuel? Not so fast, but that's okay. It's not a fuel transport. It's to refuel vehicles. So that's what it's for. Right, so let's drive back over here and check out the options. L1 and X unfolds the crane. So that is what you need to do in order to get that going. However, L1 and left open cover, I would recommend doing this before lifting anything, but we actually need to back up here a little bit. There we go. Because we need to use this crane for something. Um, and everything else has to do with the crane operation now. So L1 and right stick left and right moves the crane left and right and up and down moves the crane up and down. So far so good, right? Let's move back a little bit more. We want to position ourselves. R1, the right stick left and right extends that crane in and out and let's uh, just get this positioned a little bit here. We want to pick up this this uh, this piece of equipment here. There we go. So R1 and up and down on your right stick. 
lowers and raises the uh, the winch end and look at that logistics phoenix crane traverse press your x button and we're attached right on so let's move over here let's now l1 and left and set those um secure those stabilizers there <clears throat> now notice we have the uh we have two units we have the back attached unit and we have the traverse with the traverse highlighted l1 and x and it unfolds that unit like so now what do we do with that well let's go back and highlight our back portion or our crane so we can move that r1 and uh up can lift that up a little bit and we're going to pick up this um box of uh there we go if i can operate this crane without <laughs> there we go there we go oh my goodness now let's uh drop that down uh sorry about the camera angle come on let's just drop it down nicely there we go now r1 and tension belts r1 and r3 and look at that now we go up 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 and if we oh uh, we could drive over here very carefully i know it's probably the terriblest way of doing it r1 and just press that and there we go we have unloaded that so um you don't want to fold oops Ooh. Uh, you don't want to fold the crane with that traverse thing on there um because what happens if you try to fold it um let's see oh you can't well look at that that isn't that handy I thought something terrible was going to happen. We can fold the traverse itself and let's uh, drop it in the back of the thing there. Now we can L1 and X and it folds that away. There we go. Good to go to another job. So let's park this and the last piece. Um, the last piece of equipment with this pack is pretty straightforward pretty um pretty well straightforward and uh that is this and that is what that is the flatbed twelve thousand one hundred nineteen dollars it also holds ten thousand liters of fuel we have the special edition choices like the same lighting side markers are no emergency lights uh, details we have the stripes and decorative items i don't see where the decorative elements on this either hmm. uh, main color we have all the wonderful colors coral it looks like and then design color would have been the stripes if i had uh, the stripes there we go yes right so did I put um, did I put the, the uh, beacons on any of these it appears I have not I would be amiss if I did not show off the beacons at least one time so we're gonna configure this with some beacons and oh yeah don't unhook it in a um in a repair zone because then it sinks into the ground there we go if we unhook it there then it's fine so yes repair ground beacons nice that looks very real now we have a uh something on there that well 
it may interfere with what I'm trying to do, but not too badly. Uh, what do we have here? We have also the, there we go, open cabinets to fuel and uh, refuel vehicles, etc., etc. We have L1 and X unfolds ramps. Yes, we have ramps. And let's see if we can drive this up there because they don't. Uh, they do. Have, let's uh, let's go around. So if you don't want to tow it with the uh, the tow truck, and the vehicle is small enough that you can fit it up on here, which uh, this is just a tad big for, perhaps. But oddly enough, it fits. Now. Uh, whoops. Uh, dee, 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 dee. Yeah, I don't see where there is no adjustment of ramps. You either fold the ramps or they go fold in or out. We have tension belts like so. And away you go. Um, yes, so it's a very simple piece, this one, of course. Um, on, it's, just, it's just a flat deck with ramps, and uh, yes, we better put those on because I'm sure this is, uh, is going to break a few uh, highway regulations for sure. And there you have it. Um, a interesting collection again by 82 studio that's the tlx service pack by 82 studio on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching i'm looney farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now <laughs>